Hi, I am Norma and I'm going to introduce you to the world of WebRatio. WebRatio is an innovative model driven development tool for building business applications in a web SO environment. The models are based on the BPMN standard and on the WebML model language. The result is a perfectly standard Java web application with no proprietary runtime or components that can be deployed on any Java application server. In this video, we will see how we can model a simple process for managing expense reports and how we can generate a running web application. We will walk you through the following steps. Edit the model using the BPMN standard. Generate a web application. Customize the visual identity. This process is performed by three main roles, employee, supervisor and treasurer. We can easily manage the definition of three corresponding process lanes through this tab bar. By zooming out, we can see an overall view of the process described with the BPMN standard notation. The process begins in the employee's lane from the start event, called a new expense report and defined by the green empty circle. The task edit report defines the information asked to the employee, the title and the expense of the report. In the Activity Parameters window, we can manage the parameters and define their visibility and behavior in the application. This gateway is based upon an expression that checks the value of the expense parameter. In the Condition Values window, we can manage the conditions that will be evaluated by the gateway. We can generate any time a web application that executes the process. Now we can get our hands on the prototype generated with a default layout. The browser starts and shows the login page. We simulate the login of an employee and the creation of a new expense report. We can now enter the requested details and complete the process. We see here the list of our reports. Now we can simulate the login of a supervisor and the approval of the expense report just created by the employee. The supervisor receives a notification telling there is a new task to do. The task appears also in the work item list. The supervisor can work on the task by clicking the resume button. The history diagram allows us to see the current status of the process and the path that has been followed. And now we can just approve the expense report. Each part of the model represents a part of the application. For example, the new expense report start event corresponds to the start button shown in the web page. At the same time, the parameters expense and title in the edit report task correspond to the entry form inputs visible on the web page. Now we can see how the BPMN model and the WebML model can work together. Right-click on the task and choose the option Open Activity Module. We can see here that the Edit Report Activity in the BPMN diagram is related to a WebML model. WebML is a modeling language specific for defining web applications. In this small piece of model we can see, for example, the concept of page, the concept of user input, the concept of button, the concept of link, and so on. This model let us define in great details all the behaviors and functionalities of the web application that cannot be expressed by the BPN model. One amazing feature of WebML is to completely detach the model from the visual identity of the application. At this point, for example, we can apply a brand new visual identity without any additional effort. Just open the project property panel and change the style property. We generate again the web application. 
Now we simply refresh the page and get a new prototype tailored to the corporate visual identity. Thanks for your attention. For more info and to download the free additional web ratio, please visit www.webratio.com.